unable to think ahead and record ahead of time, I'm filming this the same day I'm uploading it. <clears throat> There's another, another edition of what I bought on eBay, and this is one of my all-time favorites. This is the Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe Mold, but if you notice, there's something kind of off about it. That is because I believe this was from the Dark of the Moon line. It was a very, it was an exclusive subline for Toys R Us. It's called the Scan Series, and basically what it was, was these guys were like half painted and half made out of clear plastic with this awesome detail, so it was basically, it was their like halfway point showing their transition into their new vehicle mode. And... They did him, Bumblebee, Ironhide, and Ratchet, I believe. It was Toys R Us exclusive. And Sideswipe is the only one that doesn't look like crap. The other three, they look great in vehicle mode. It's a cool effect. But then you get them to robot mode, and it's basically just, eh, their legs are made out of clear plastic. Kind of sucks. Now, I got this one off eBay, as, I, as you know, the show dictates. And, <clears throat> you know, he does have a little bit of minor, minor paint wear just from sitting there. Um, all in all, he's in fantastic condition. And you know how normally with clear plastic, it's one of those, you know, paranoia of what, when they're gonna break. This, I've actually dropped off my shelf a couple times and have had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I've got no issues with this thing whatsoever. It is just fantastic. It is the Revenge of the Fallen style side swipe, which is one of the coolest ideas they've ever had for side swipe. So, yes, he is a concept Corvette Stingray. This model actually never made it to um, retail. This model was made, that was used exclusively on that movie, so. Fancy car. So if you could ever get your hands on one of these, you will have a very, very nice car. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a lot of extra to say about it. <clears throat> Sorry. Other than, it's just really, really nice, and it's an awesome figure. Um, it does have this issue that this mold just generally has of, if, I don't know how well you can tell, but like his robot knees are right here, and they stick out just low enough that he doesn't really roll well, but he's just pretty to sit on the shelf. So, transformation for him is very simple, actually. You come back here and grab his back tires, and you pull his arms out on this double strut here. Um, it kind of kind of sort of tabs into place under here, not really. So you do that on both sides. It's very, very secure. Just like that. And you come up here, and you unpeg the front here from here. And you bring it down on this double joint. Now, once you come down here, this is held together by a little mushroom peg. So once you, there you go. Once you get that undone, swing these out on these little armatures and I don't know if this is a universal issue with this mold, but this happens to mine. This part just doesn't like to stay on overly well. So it's just a slight issue. Um, then you flip him up here. I'm gonna come down and do the feet first. Now, I don't actually know the proper transformation for his feet. Um, you can do it either way. You can either flip it so this part is forward and you just flip that forward, or you can roll it so that part is forward, whichever one you prefer. Um, Personally, I like this one a little bit more. It bulks his feet out a little bit, so that's how I'm going to show it on the channel. So you fold it down like that, and we have legs. And you come back here, and you up, you pull this piece up like this, and there goes that piece again. You need to make sure when you bring these arm, these struts out, you have to bring them out all the way, so that this piece can fold down like so. You bring this piece up, it's on a double hinge, so you just set it along the back there. And you see his head is down here, so when you bring this across his uh, torso right here, this, bugger, come on, actually sets in. It's hard to show from this angle. Basically what you need to do is, this piece right here sits down behind the middle, middle of the torso there. Just like that. And when you do that, you plug this in, kind of pushes his head up through and you bring his arms down here and you flip his hands out. Flip his hands out. There we go. And he has the Kung Fu grip. So then you 
come back here to these pieces and you pretty much, you can, they're very customizable. You can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, this has a hinge, that's a hinge, this is a hinge. I just like to bring them up along his back here, condense them a little bit, make, make him look a little bit cleaner. Just like, like that, if this piece would stop falling off on me. Like that. And then of course you can take these bits right here, have a little bit of an automorph here. Boom. And you have his little arm blades, which look really cool. Now, the um, the rest of the scan series guys, you transform them, and basically all of them, their all, back of their alt mode becomes their legs. Him, hit the back of his alt mode becomes his chest. So the clear plastic and that awesome detailing right here shows up right here, and it makes him look so cool. I mean, it even has it on his arm blades. Now, once again, it's made out of clear plastic, so your mileage may vary on that. Um, but yes, this is Scan Series Sideswipe. Tell me you don't want one of these. Can you honestly say that you don't want one of these? This is amazing. Um, <clears throat> he has the he has a, a piping thing, like a light piping thing in the back of his head, but it's so small and there's a screw through it, and I believe his eyes are painted, so you really can't use it. But you know, <laughs> seeing as how he basically has body piping, I think it's forgivable. Um, this is also from when they were doing that Mecha Live thing, so, you know, Now, he is really hard to get to stand because he basically, he has, the, he has the wheel feet, so he's very hard to balance, but once you get him balanced, he looks pretty cool. You know, posability is okay, shoulders are on a ball joint, double hinged elbow, kind of have any, some hand articulation, but that's, that's basically what you got. And also, these bits right here are... If you, for those of you who don't know, these are not the connection. These are kind of just holding his legs, and they do pretty much limit his posability. His, his leg is actually held on by a ball joint right there. So, that's... I mean, he's got a lot of flair. I mean, I guess that's the best way to describe him. He has a lot of flair. But, you know, he's sideswiped, so he should have some flair. <clears throat> yep. Wonderful little treasure. I got off eBay for... Believe it or not, I won an auction on this thing for 12 bucks. 12 bucks I got him, and it was free shipping if I remember right. I bought this thing like summer of last year or sometime. So, yeah, there we go. Um, pretty, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So, um, oh yeah, for those of you who watch this video, I hope I get a few views on this one. Um, I'm considering doing something. Um, I'm thinking for the channel, I've been trying to kind of carve out my own idea for my channel. Part of it is the thumbnails, and I really like, I really like this whole uh, transition thumbnail thing I've been doing. Um, but I want to start doing something. I want your feedback on this one. So when I say comment on this one, I literally mean comment on this one. I want your feedback. Um, I would like to do a giveaway at a hundred subscribers. I have decided that I want to do giveaways at set milestones for my channel. Um, first one at a hundred subscribers, second one when we hit 500, third one when we hit a thousand. Now this will, it won't be anything super extravagant like you know you're not going to get a, you're not going to get a full set of the, uh, I think it's the TFC um, Poseidon set with you know the third party Piranacons. It's not going to be anything like this, like that. It's probably, it's not going to be a masterpiece. Um, it'll probably be something to the effect of, I was thinking maybe doing a leader class giveaway, or maybe giving away a complete set of, or like a complete wave of figures. Like for example, um, say we're, say we're into wave four of Power of the Primes when I hit a hundred. Um, we'll do, take, you know, be kind of expensive to do it right off the bat, but do like, um, an entire combiner set. So a Voyager and four Deluxe is that, are that combiner set. Like uh, the whole Volcanicus set or the whole Abominus set. Something like that. Um, I, want you, I want some feedback on that one if you guys can. So I'd appreciate that. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, once again, this is Dark of the Moon. It was a Dark of the Moon line. Scan series. It's Toys R Us exclusive. Scan series side swipe. And I'm the Smithy. Asking if you want to. If you liked it, hit the like. If you want to see more, sub.
If you want, got something to say, comment. If you think I suck, dislike it. And I'll catch you next time.